Hello and welcome to 810 Broadmoor Drive in beautiful Patterson Park area of Dayton, Ohio. I'll be your host today and we're staying out in front of this home. This has a brick stone look, which is my favorite. I love the brick and stone look. Uh, the roof is not too old. You can't really tell by the six inches of snow that's on top of it, but the roof is in good shape. Um, lots of updates on this home. We have a lot of character and charm, but a lot of modern convenient updates in here. So you're gonna be really impressed when you see this. So let, let's go inside and take a look right now. All right, so here just walk through the front door and this is the entry. We do have a light up at the top here, solid wood door with a crescent window up top, coat closet over here. And this door right here will lead you up to the second floor. And when you come through the front door, this mirror will scare you because I opened it up and I thought someone was standing right there and it's yourself. Uh, so just a forewarning on that. Hardwood floors in the entry here that do flow throughout the living room and the dining room here. And we'll check all these out here momentarily. Second floor has two bedrooms, both good sized, and we have some good storage areas up there as well, and a full bathroom, plus a full bathroom on the main floor here as well. Uh, this front picture window looks newer. Uh, fireplace, I do not believe the owner has ever used that, but that is the original wood-burning fireplace there. From the dining, uh, excuse me, living room, we walk right into the dining room. Looks like we have an updated Harbor Breeze ceiling fan there. Looks like an updated window and some nice build-ins. Let me get some better lighting here so this actually, hopefully, brightens up for us. Maybe, maybe. Eh, it, it's not this dark in person, but some nice build-ins on either side so you could have your fine china and perfect spot to put the organ. Have kind of some uh, decorative things on here. So it gives it a little elegant feel in the dining room. Now we do have a bedroom and a bathroom and the family room is what I'm calling it down the hallway there. And right here, we're gonna walk into the kitchen. And this was, is an updated kitchen. So we have updated cabinets. Guys, this is a gas range. So the expression cooking with gas, you have it here. This is a Kenmore stainless steel gas range, Kenmore micro hood. Nice shiny kitchen sink, not too old, and a Frigidaire dishwasher. And very nice cabinets. We do have can lights. And then this door that we walked by here, uh, I won't walk down the stairs here because we have more to see, but this is gonna take us down to the basement and this takes us to the garage and Give you a peek at the garage. It's a garage. Then coming through here, this is the family room. This used to be a bedroom at one time, but they put the newer sliding door in here. We do have the hardwood in this room as well. So they kind of turned it into a family room, a sitting room. You know, we do have the closet right there, but you could wall this back up throw the door back on and this could be a four bedroom home with not much effort. Then the deck, the deck is not too old. This is a newer deck and forgive me, I'm not going to walk out in the six inches of snow we have out there, but we look to have a fenced in yard here as well. And this is actually kind of a cool little opening. Come down the hallway. That's the living room where we just came from. Had a lot of character in this house, like with the little archways or, and it's not an arch, but we'll call it an arch. First floor, full bathroom, tile. This is real ceramic tile on the ground, real ceramic tile on the walls. Look, we have a solid surface countertop in here. And even the shower is tiled. And that tub is clean, clean, clean. And then one more bedroom to look at. This is a good size bedroom here. This would be on the back right of the home if you're looking at it from the street. So there's the backyard. Have the updated Harbor Breeze ceiling fan here as well. And nice wood floors here also. Next, let's go check out the second floor. All right, so here we just came up a short flight of stairs here to bedroom number two. I may have the dimensions different online, but this 
is the smaller of the two bedrooms on the second floor. And it's kind of on its own little landing. This could also be used as a second floor game room, an office. There's all kinds of possibilities. This sectional wall right here, there is a closet door right there. So again, you could throw a wall up here, put a door on it, and make it a private bedroom. Or like at my house, I could throw you know one or two of the kids in here and this would be just fine for them. Or a perfect office. I'm repeating myself now, so we'll move on. Two closets to the left and to the right here. First one to the left, this is a cedar closet. Looks like a sauna. No sauna rocks here. This is just a nice cedar closet. Shelves on the left and on the right. So if you think that's closets big, this one may be hard to get video of, but I'm gonna try. Look at the size of this behemoth. This thing is massive. So talk about some massive storage and we, and we do have the full basement. This is all floored and I'm a big man and walking on this and this is solid as you can get. This could be converted to another bedroom or another area if you so wished as well. There is no HVAC in that room um, that would need to be added, but that could easily be conver converted to living space. Second floor bathroom, tile on the walls here as well. We have some build-ins, a little cubby hole in there, and even the, the, the walls are tiled here too, as is the walls. Updated window in this room as well. And this is the largest of the two bedrooms upstairs here. Updated windows, all three of them. And the great feel, this is kind of the uh, original kind of shiplap, if you would. And this is a big closet as well. So like I said, we have a lot of storage up here, two massive closets. And then this is actually a big closet as well. Not as big as that one we just looked at, but about the size of that cedar closet and it goes way back there so a lot of closet space which is really a luxury to find in Patterson Park next let's go check out the basement all right so here it just came down to the basement first thing to point out looks like we have our main water shut off is right there opens up into a, a, a work room right here so that workbench right there I believe that can stay and I think these basement windows have been updated as well. So plenty of storage and workspace area. And some of this is already framed to where, you know, you could finish it off, no problem. Big double door storage cabinet right here. Basement's very clean as well. Now, I pause there for a second because what's going through my head is where would I put the pool table, the ping pong table, <laughs> the theater room, all of that stuff. For me, this would be a perfect foosball table room or theater room here. Pool table, ping pong table here, but really the sky's the limit. You have a blank slate of what you would want to do down here. Panel box has been updated. And this is our utility area right here. I believe the washer and dryer can stay, but um, don't know if those work or not. This little wood box is a laundry chute. Oh, and one thing when I was saying, where would I put the wet bar? This section over here where I said put the foosball would be a good section because you have the water right over here, you have drains right over here, so you're very easy to just drain it right over there. And none of this stuff here is structural. So if you didn't like this, you wanted to make it smaller, you know, all of this stuff can be tore out and redone. The only thing you don't want to tear out is that support beam and that support beam there. But all of this wood stuff can go. So my mind's going a mile a minute of what I would do down here. I'm sure yours is doing the same. Next, let me meet you on the first floor for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you this fine home. A home like this, charm, character, plus updated in Patterson Park does not come along that often. So hurry because this one 
in my opinion, is gonna move pretty quick and the owner has priced this to move quickly. So give us a call. I look forward to talking with you.